<laughs> As, oh, Yo. Climber's Peach. All right, well, this is going to be an interesting matchup for sure because this there are two characters that you cannot quite just pick up. We see the Squall Hammer coming in, the up tilts as well to try and get that approach with the flow, but it's going to be a Peach combo. Hold on, though. What Wait the heck? Minute. Okay, practicing, like actually knowing, at the very least, being able to do float cancel nair. Which, honestly, if you're able to do float cancel nair, like that's that's half the difficulty right, for Peach. Right. Like they, that individual button is so strong. I just think, yeah, after that one interaction, there is a bit of a discrepancy here. But that being said, after that combo, you know, Crackshot taking a bit of damage too, just from the fundies coming in from the ice climbers. Ice climbers may not be as bad a option as as it seems, because right. while they, of course, like their real strength of a character is being able to mix up your pro, uh, how you operate Nana and Popo, the, the fun thing about uh, playing climbers is that you have, have access to some of the most individually strong oh, uh, yeah, yeah. singular buttons in right. the game. Like, uh, up air is crazy. Unfortunately, those buttons uh, don't have a lot of range to them. We saw a crack shot just playing a little bit back and uh, not able to get hits, so it's going to be tough. The range is definitely going to matter a lot here. Yeah, solo Nana going all in, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. Swinging that forward air. Doesn't spike with only just one climber. You need uh, you need your AI climber in order to hit it, but that okay. up smash intercepting wow. and able to make it back, saving the jump. Good stuff. The re-grab not getting punished either. Going to be an up smash trade, though, and Dribnotic going down. Two to two now. Oh, Saturn on. was pulled. Okay. Yo, there. the extension. Oh, and he bounced off of the, off the button hit. That's right. so clean. Let's right, go off stage it. here. We got oh yo, what was that? <laughs> Passed into the second climber. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, this is a big opportunity here for some damage though. A little bit of a decent here too, but back at it. Okay. One of them got stuck on the platform. He's looking a little dangerous, and it still is looking a little dangerous. Crackshot taking a lot of damage here. Peach Bomber breaking it up. Yeah, a lot of neutral be coming out from Crackshot. Ooh. Gotta be, uh, uh, excuse me, coming out from Drip. Oh, no, no. Not, not saving the other climber. <laughs> so sad. I mean, there is no real good time to go for belay there, so I understand. Air dodge going to come in, but getting hit with that tried and true forward air at the ledge. Going to be 96 on crack shot, holding it down, still on the second stock. Trying to swing with some of these high back airs, but crack shot is keeping as low to the ground as possible. Use Yo. Wow, pivot up smash as well, changing up the DI angle. I love that, and the timing on the offense too, the mix up, all of that mattered so much. Squall hammer going to be big damage. I would have went up with it. Okay. Oh, yeah. the climber's gotten a little bit desync there, covering both sides of the platform. Whether it's real or accidental, <laughs> like I ice climbers can be so terrifying when both of them are like separate but doing the same right, option. Right, it covers so much ground. Unfortunately, a squall hammer getting shielded and the back air coming in to be crack shots opportunity here. Okay. Gonna go with the back air, look for an edge guard, but no peach fighting back at the forward air. Oh, oh, okay. Grabs the turn up no. and the desync <laughs> item toss forward smash, throwing out plenty of these big swings. Has to play back. I love going for the up smash, barely missing, and we have crack shot back off stage. Oh no, that was, that was almost terrifying. Right, up smash also connecting, but still not taking it. An up air, really just keeping Peach up there. No air dodge here. Okay, makes it back to the ledge. Hasn't able to been able to find one of these uh, forward airs that they've been really looking for, but the up air gonna send it a harsh side di angle. Oh, oh and misses the next one as Drip has to recover that down smash will remove one climber from the equation. Forcing Drip in order to force another ledge oh scenario, no. and Popo is gone. What's the up matter. smash? Okay, working out for Drip. What a crazy game. Such a like a back and forth, like awkward scenario after scenario. Right, but right. It came down to like it came down to a really a spot dodge read. He dashed back back and forth through them. Yo. You can travel through after during that, spot dodge. After that peach combo, Crackshot took the fairy hat off. Said, nah, forget that. I'm, I'm a peach player now, bro. You seen that? Fatal Fury, more like <laughs> Fatal Fatal Cutie. <laughs> going into game two is going to be a surprise. He's going to be King DDD <laughs> for Dripnotic, and it's going to be Crackshot on the Jigglypuff here on Battlefield. This matchup is going to be an interesting one, to say the least. Uh, we got a lot of range coming in from King DDD, but maybe not enough. It's going to be some Gordo projectiles and maybe just some solid Jigglypuff combos coming in from Crackshot as well. Yeah. Ooh, the stars coming in clutch. I'm 
uh, at the very least, if you're crack shot, you can transfer a lot of Puff's uh, floatiness from Peach to Puff. Right. Uh, but this is a complete change in dynamic for, for DDD. Oh, soft fair Nair on the edge guard there. Super clean from crack shot, taking an early lead. Dripnotic, though, both of his characters have had hammers. That so is, is an important, important distinction. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, back air coming in using that aforementioned hammer. This is a good little edge guard, but no good patience from crack shot. Yo, the offense, too? Yeah, fair jab into a forward throw. Now you get to spend a little bit of time off stage here. If there's anything that you can learn from uh, from uh, pickup DD, like raw DDD pickup habits, a lot of the times they'll do uh, aerial into immediate down tilt, which is massively punishable. Right, See right. if that comes into play uh, for Drip or Hypnotic, able to armor through with that super DDD jump. Wow, okay, going for it all with that up smash. Gonna get grabbed for it, and it's gonna be the down throw. Look for another follow up. Okay, good aerial here. Stuck at the ledge. Oh, I love that. Using that long lasting forward air leading into another one. But the Gordo coming in unexpectedly. Yeah, it was a pretty deep Gordo to go for. And now we're getting to see a couple up tilts on the part of Crack Shot. I, oh, the part of Drip. I'm Yo, the Gordo didn't, didn't even, even matter. <laughs> <laughs> no Gordo hit. Just the little hammer swat. And Puff exploded. All right. Big Down opportunity. Fair. Okay. Oh, no. I would just, uh, yeah, just up tilt. Yeah, I think Puff is one of those characters where. Um, the oh, okay. nice. <laughs> oh, no, very nice. Okay, another opportunity here. Not going for the forward air. Going to go try and get the up air. Chain Taking grab. the forward air there. Okay, like that. Yeah, right? It looks like a chain grab. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck up on that top platform. It's going to be tough for Drip to try and make this back, but we're trying. I look, he's got, like, some setups. He's got approximate knowledge of some DDD things. Yeah. But it seems like that's that's the knowledge he's abusing. But fall, falling there into back air, drip. Ooh, Ooh, very nice. Use those multiple jumps. Puff has crazy air speed, not, but not going vertically. Right, has to right. use a lot of those jumps, and the DDD's big old hammer making the difference. Oh, okay. Going with the early up B, and then grab was miss spaced, and the forward smash was well spaced from Crackshot. Going to even it back up, putting that pressure on with the aerial here. It's a pretty low shield. Don't want to hold it too long. Oh my goodness. But the hammer toss is able to intercept with the Gordo. Seeing Drip play under this platform so religiously, just poking with forward tilts, covering so much space, burning a lot of jumps is crack shot. Air dodge wow. used. Great way to the up tilt, almost taking it back at the ledge here, but maybe swinging a little too much. Crack shot fighting back. Now, oh my goodness, that was a big back air. Yeah, but going all the way up, crack shot. Needing one of these oh. combos that he showed off a little bit earlier off of these strong fares, able to poke away, but I feel like Drip is in a scenario where it's like, all right, I'm just going to start swinging some nares and swinging oh, some forward there. airs. Oh, but that could have been a rest. He yeah, missed the tech. The missed tech. It's pretty even for some reason. Forward air going to open it up here. Trying to put the pressure on with the jab, but the Gordo coming in and still holding on 147 after the hit. Another Gordo not going to make it past center stage. Looking for the option. Almost gets it forward yeah, tilt. Late hit forward tilt, like for real? Almost. I like that Gordo trying to put the pressure on the ledge. Down smash? Oh no, yeah, just going with the forward tilt at that time, but what? it's not going to kill quite yet. Another Gordo setup trying to avoid any sort of kill scenario. You can't recover high for fear of DDD up tilt. Going for the back air, giving up a lot of stage control. Dripnotic. Oh my goodness, they are swinging. The forward tilt's not connecting. That one's not connecting either. Forward air out of shield. He's looking to recover high, but these two are... Oh, the forward smash as well, but that down tilt's punishable, and Nair out of shield. Now Crashot gets to set up a legendary of their own. Nair comes out, seeing how deep they can go. Oh, going for it all, even. All right, what's the play here? Gonna Oh, that's a re-grab, potentially going to wait for the roll-on. Not going to hit it, the forward tilt still not killing. <laughs> how stale is that forward it's tilt? So bad. <laughs> okay, back at the ledge yet again. Can we get a uh, forward tilt? Oh, back air. What a reversal. <laughs> Why back. is this so tense? Oh, the up tilt. <laughs> Oh, the Gordo! Oh, no. The soft toss of the Gordo catching the jump out of shield so well timed from Drip.